Right, so here we go. Um, so today I'm going to tell you how do you connect to the internet and everything wonderful on the internet through using a computer and some software and hardware that is integral to do that. Okay, so first of all, hardware number one. Well, so this is a piece of cable or wire that connects to a wall socket and connects back to your computer. Now, this basically allows data to be transferred through zeros and ones from your computer to the rest of the internet. Now this is the wired method of connecting to the internet. So this is an integral part of that. Okay, Without this you cannot connect to the internet. But before you can connect uh, this to your computer you need a certain socket on your computer with a piece of hardware uh, installed on your motherboard. And that is called the network interface controller. Now the network interface controller is basically your hardware that is connected on your um, motherboard that allows incoming and outgoing connections to a wire to your computer. Uh, and this has an external socket on the outside that allows your telephone cable to connect to it. So that is basically the wired method of connecting to the internet. Voila. Now, the wireless method that we mostly use today because it's more portable and sometimes, I mean, it, it gets annoying because you cannot move your wire everywhere unless it's a two meter wire but I mean I mean it gets annoying doesn't it you know you can't just move around everywhere with a wire you know you need to go to work sometimes and say there's a Wi-Fi hotspot you can't just be connecting your wire for us you need a wireless method of connecting to the internet now before your internet um, before your computer can catch any wire Wi-Fi um, uh, hotspots it needs a wireless card or Wi-Fi card or some people like to call it LAN card on your motherboard. Now this is connected on your motherboard and if you can see that silver casing with the, th the dots in it with the, um, with the 20 dots in it that is a transmitter. Now that transmitter um, basically sends radio waves and receives radio waves so that you can communicate with a Wi-Fi router as shown in the example on the right. Now this is the wire wireless method of connecting to the internet. So just use radio waves, the radio wave transmitter on your Wi-Fi card that basically can communicate through radio waves, not through wire, to a Wi-Fi router. Now the Wi-Fi router makes use of an Ethernet cable, but that's out of, that's a bit out of the topic because that's not part of your computer. So that's how you connect to the internet using the wireless method. Now, one thing to note is that there is another wireless method, and that is using a, a USB Wi-Fi transmitter. Now, this is like a USB Wi-Fi stick that you connect into your USB port, and it has an antenna on it that uh, receives radio waves. Now, it's not used too often, but some people use it. Um, you can get one from Etsy Salat if you want. Uh, I think it's around like 80 dirhams a month or something like that. Now, before this hardware can connect to your computer, I mean, the hardware, I mean, it's just, it's a piece of junk if, you know, if you can't use it, if you can't make use of it on your operating system. So before you can connect through the internet, you need a driver s installed on your computer. Now, this, what it, what it does is it allows your operating system to communicate with the hardware so that you can make use of the internet on that operating system. So what we have over here is a fairly simple LAN driver that accepts incoming connections and has a fairly uh, simple firewall gateway. It's pretty straightforward. Um, here are some software that make use of the internet and are integral to I mean using the internet. These are called web browsers, right? So, there are five main web browsers called Google, Chrome, Mozilla, Firefox, Internet Explorer, pardon me, Safari, and Oprah. Not Oprah Winfrey, but just Oprah. And um, these are basically software that allow you to surf the World Wide Web. So, I mean, they allow you to um, go around the World Wide Web. And uh, sometimes it can be a very dangerous place, so you have to go around it with caution. Right? Um, so here's some other software that we can use to connect to the internet. Uh, on the left is Steam, which is a which is a basically a gaming network 
that uh, allows you to connect to other gamers and uh, play video games with them over the internet. And one tip in life is that, you know, sometimes you can't just sit on your table and play video games. You have to go outside and maybe play a game of football or something, you know. You just have to exercise a bit. You know, you don't get exercise uh, by uh, clicking a mouse and typing on your keyboard. Uh, on the right, we have Skype, which is a piece of software that um, allows you to video conference with people all around the world. This makes use of the internet as well, because, well, without the internet, what is there to life? So, next, we have this black screen that you can enjoy. Yep, thank you a lot for listening, and uh, that's about it.